This is the story of an unhinged man named Happy. His father was a crazy fan of hockey. When Happy was just a kid, his dad used to teach him how to play hockey all the time. Because of his obsession with hockey, even his wife left him. And one day, his dad's obsession got him killed. So Happy was left all alone and was sent to live with his grandma, who was apparently the sweetest person in the whole world. During high school, Happy became a junior hockey player but got kicked out because of his violence towards everything. After he graduated, he tried out a lot of different jobs. He tried working as a road worker, a janitor, a security guard, a gas station attendant, and a plumber. But none of these jobs were a good choice for him because of his eccentric behavior. Most recently, Happy tries working as a construction worker but messes up so badly that he gets beaten up by the boss and gets sent to the hospital. Happy realizes that he is only meant to do one thing on this planet and that is to play hockey. Happy tries out for the city hockey team but again, because of his aggression towards everything, he does not pass the test. Happy returns to his home to find that his girlfriend is breaking up with him because of his obsession with hockey. Happy tries to convince her to stay, but his split, angry, weird persona makes her leave right away. He gets heartbroken and hooks up with a Chinese lady for the night. The next morning, Happy gets a call from his grandmother saying that she is being forcefully moved from her house because she hasn't paid her taxes in decades. Happy comes there and learns from a government guy that his grandma needs to pay the IRS $270,000 in the next 90 days if she wants her house back. Happy tries to make the guy understand that she has no other place to go. Happy takes his anger out on the government guy and then takes his grandma to an old age home. Happy promises his grandma that he will get the money for her so she can get her house back. He then returns to his grandma's house to slack off a little when he sees that the movers are trying to play golf. Happy tells the movers to go back to work. One challenges Happy to hit a ball past his ball if he wants them to go back to work. Happy happily accepts the challenge and hits the ball so hard that a woman is hit and falls out from her house. Happy discovers his newfound talent in golf. He starts betting with rich golfers and easily gets stacked with money. One of the best golf pros in the country, named Chubbs notices the potential in Happy and decides to approach him. But then he notices that Happy is an actual nut job. Still, Chubbs gives it a shot and offers Happy the chance to teach him how to play golf for free. He tells Happy that he has great potential to be a pro golfer, but Happy explains that he only has an interest in hockey. Chubbs mentions that he can get some big bucks if he decides to play golf, so Happy gives it a shot to get his grandma's house back. The next day, Happy shows up for the tournament and meets with his new coach, Chubbs. The announcer of the tournament introduces shooter McGavin, who explains that today's winner will be invited to join the Pro Tour and will get a chance to become his colleague. The match begins, and right away, Happy acts aggressively with his caddy. Since he doesn't know any golf rules, he acts like a stupid person. Happy's turn comes, and he takes an amateur position to shoot and even misses the first shot. Chubbs pauses the game and eases the tension. This time, Happy doesn't miss and hits a banger that goes almost to the end of the arena. Everyone claps, but Happy makes a fool out of himself again and takes several shots to putt the ball. He does it again and again and scores a hole in one. He proceeds to use the same technique to easily climbs up the leaderboard. For the final challenge, Happy has to put the ball in the hole in under four shots if he wants to become the winner. Happy tries to tap it in three times but it only gets a little closer to the hole. His anger kicks in but then Happy remembers his grandma and cools himself down. He then takes the shot and puts the ball in which makes the winner of the tournament. The PR director of the Pro Tour, Virginia, congratulates Happy and tells him about a tournament next week where the winner takes takes $216,000 home. She adds that the person in last place also gets a grand, so that piques Happy's interest, and he decides to go to that tournament next week. Chubbs proposes to train Happy for the next six months until he develops the game and then join the Pro Tour. However, Happy doesn't have that time to waste as he needs the money in three months, so he refuses the offer and leaves with his trophy. Meanwhile, the caretaker of the old age home acts like a total psycho towards the people, which scares Happy's grandma. Happy shows up there with his trophy, but before his grandma can complain about the caretaker, he threatens to kill her, so she has no choice but to be silent about it. Happy tells his grandma that he has found a way to get the money she needs and promises again to get her house back. The next week, Happy shows up for the Pro Gold Tour. At the reception, Happy insults McGavin, so McGavin invites him to a secret golf match between the pros to insult him back. But that was just a prank to get Happy all wet. Happy decides to kill McGavin but stumbles upon Virginia on his way. She calms him down and encourages him to win the tour the next day. The next day, Happy decides to make a homeless guy his cadet for this tour. Happy's turn to shoot comes up but he misses the first shot. He curses the ball in front of a live audience, shoots this time, and hits a total banger. Although he gets considered a psycho by everyone for his bizarre behavior, he does well on the pro tour. Later, McGavin picks a fight with Happy, but Virginia takes Happy away from McGavin and tells him that he needs to change his behavior before he gets kicked out of the pro tour. The next day, Happy 
notices that he has made some fans, but he doesn't act like a fool this time because of Virginia. The tour continues, and Happy keeps gaining more and more popularity while McGavin begins to lose his fans. An unexpected turn of events causes Happy's ball to get into an alligator's mouth, so Happy picks up a fight with the alligator and even beats it. His golfing career continues to grow, and he keeps on making more and more money. Happy takes Virginia on a date to a ice rink. He sets up a romantic scene and impresses Virginia. He even makes a cheeky bet with Virginia to get to kiss her. The next day, Happy gets partnered with a famous celebrity and also gets a new hater who constantly provokes him. The constant hate drives Happy crazy, which makes him miss all of his shots and drop to the dead last position. His partner criticizes Happy's playing, so he attacks the old man. But the old man quickly humbles him and beats him up so much that he cannot get up anymore. Meanwhile, McGavin reveals that he actually paid Happy's hater to make him lose the game. The president of the Pro Tour summons Happy and tells him that he will be suspended for a month and be fined 25000 for his violent behavior against a celebrity. Because of that, Happy can no longer pay for his grandma's house. He tells Virginia about it, so she comes up with a plan to make Happy do a commercial. Thanks to that, he gets enough money to pay off his grandma's debt and goes to get her house back. But sadly, the auction has already started and McGavin buys it for a crapload of money. McGavin tells him that if he leaves the golf tour, he will give him the house. But Happy comes up with a better offer. He tells him that if he beats him the next week, he gets the house back, and if he gets beaten, he will quit the pro tour, to which McGavin happily agrees. So, it's time for Happy to learn to play proper golf. So he goes to Chubbs to mentor him. They start their training and Chubbs teaches Happy to be more patient, and thanks to that, he quickly learns how to putt. However, Happy gifts Chubbs the head of the crocodile that took his hand, which causes Chubbs's death. As Happy now needs to beat McGavin, he shows that he is on par with McGavin. Happy, with his fast improvement in the game, comes close to the leaderboard and ties with McGavin. So, McGavin decides to use his dirty tricks again to beat Happy and calls the guy he previously hired to provoke Happy. But the guy goes too far and drives his car over Happy, injuring him. Happy doesn't give up but in the end he loses his patience and his perfect score. However, his grandma comes and motivates him, which makes Happy happy again, and he starts acing every shot. He quickly climbs up the leaderboard and gets on par with McGavin once again. It's time for his final shot, which will decide who will become the winner. He shoots perfectly and comes an inch closer to becoming the winner. McGavin's turn comes up to take a shot and he misses it, giving Happy the advantage. McGavin somehow catches up after facing some hardships and makes the putt. So, it's now up to Happy to putt in one go if he wants to be the winner. However, because of some dumb fans, a tower falls right in front of his ball, which blocks the way. Virginia tells him not to worry, as they can finish after this gets cleaned up. However, McGavin makes it clear that he needs to take a shot right away, as these are the rules. So, Happy takes a look around him and makes the craziest shot, which makes the ball go in in one putt. He wins the pro tour with ease and gets his grandma's house back again. Virginia moves in with him to his grandma's house, and they live happily ever after. Thank you for watching. It may be easy for you to like and subscribe, but it means the world to us. Please subscribe for more movie recaps.